Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve. I'm back at it. We're doing a stelter today. Found a really cool looking uh, beach shelter made out of driftwood. And yeah, we're gonna try that. The shelter's behind me over there, but there's a lot of people here. I'm gonna tuck my backpack off in the woods so it doesn't look so obvious. I can tuck it right in here. I'm gonna upgrade to a camo or a green backpack. Probably should have done that years ago. Okay. Nobody will see that. Sun's only up for another hour and a half or two hours, so let's go check out that shelter. Outhouse. Look at that. When I first saw this little one, I got all steamy. And then, over there. This is gonna do great. There's enough room in here to stay out of the wind. If it starts to rain, I have a tarp I can hang up in here. And I've got a pretty good view out through the slats. And this is a hiking trail. It's very regularly used, but I don't think so much in the dark. And there are homes all around the bay in the harbor here. Uh, so there's no fires, of course, and we've got to keep the flashlights low, but we can manage. This is all right. People started to build a couple of bedrooms on this side, but it doesn't look like they're in good shape. The other side's definitely the best bet. In through here. Yeah. It's the main living part in there. Out here, it's a, it's a really nice patio area to sit. Um, this is gonna be great. The wind is whipping up, so I'm gonna grab a hoodie out of the backpack. And we'll do some beach combing, see what we can find around here. There's a little lighthouse down there too I wanna to check out. Definitely a good spot to tuck the bag away. It'll be dipping down to around freezing tonight. Possibility of a little snow too. So good thing for that driftwood shelter. Good thing for layers. I got fleece lined, uh, fleece lined jeans I got for Christmas from the in-laws. Thank you very much. It'll make a difference tonight. And uh, I got a uh, fleece hoodie uh, from Terry Kyle. So, put this on and go look at the beach. Hope I find a big chunk of ambergris. That'd be good. All I see so far is seaweed, seaweed, seaweed. I love how people cobble these things together. Wouldn't want to sleep in this one. It's right on a trail. And they're working with what they got. Maybe things have washed up on shore and uh, thrown together somewhere that you could probably crawl into and stay to the wind at least. The objective's over there, keeping a close eye on it, but not too close. Anybody lingering around there for an extended period at this time of day is very likely to be camping in there. How could you not want to do that? I'm sure I'm not the first. From here I can see when the tide comes up, it'll get fairly close, but I should be okay unless it gets real stormy. 
beachfront property. The lighthouse is not that exciting, and it's barely even blinking. Um, I don't know if that's normal. I thought they were big octangular things with somebody living in a shack at the bottom changing light bulbs every once in a while, but uh, it's the way of the future, I think. I'm laying low in the woods here away from the trails for the next 40 minutes. Uh, it should be getting dark by then, and I can start hauling some gear over. I don't know how many people are going to be walking their dogs at night with flashlights, but it's a possibility because the sun does set at, you know, quarter after five. So people aren't even really off work and home by then. But we'll see what happens and we'll just go with the flow. Way too much activity here still. Back to the woods. The trails got pretty quiet. I don't see anybody down that way or anybody coming down that way. So I'm gonna grab the backpack, get it into this shelter. Spoke too soon, there's some dog walkers, but uh, doesn't look like anybody else after them. They're gone, time for the backpack. All right, quick, uh, quick peek from behind here. Don't see anybody, so make a break for it. Now we're in the dark. Yeah, great, somebody's coming, but I'm committed now. I'm gonna just walk over there and uh, lay low. I think it's about a seven minute round trip to that lighthouse and back. I put my backpack there. She's just about out of view, and it's time to crawl in there. moment of truth. Now the other dog walkers are on their way back. She's still on the way out there. So I'm going to hide on this side of the shelter. All right. Okay. really nice to have a bit of a windbreak that makes it feel warmer right away and I can keep an eye on them from here. Two down and one to go and then I'll crawl over to the other side. Actually if I... okay. Those two down. I'm gonna crawl over to the other side now if the other dog walker is nowhere to be seen. Okay. Yeah, it's a go. Around the corner. And home for the night. Perfect hideout. I can see things around through all these little cracks. Of course, there's people coming right for this place, so I'm a photographer. That's the story. That's always the story. Oh, hey. <laughs> great photos out here. Oh, yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Great photos. Well, I got a little eager. A lot more people on the trails, and, uh, I find when I break out the full uh, tripod setup, uh, that looks more legitimate and they give me some space. So that's what I got here is the whole big stand. Tricks of the trade. Pretty much dark out there. So I'm gonna start getting things out of the bag. I definitely wanna get a sleeping bag opened up because it is a little chilly for sure.
just walked right by on the other side. It's uh, still really early, but it's dark. So I'm gonna need the flashlight. And it's windy, so somewhat windy. I'm gonna get a tarp set up to kind of block any light and block some wind. It's been a little windy, it's been a little stormy, but it is time to crack uh, step two. Aside from the wind, uh, the biggest problems I'm going to face tonight are the tide because it looks like there's a bunch of seaweed stuff all over the place and this stuff doesn't fly, it gets here on the water. And uh, the rain and snow, that is a possibility, I looked at the radar, it looks like there's spotty things that could be coming through. and. The roof on a driftwood shelter is not exactly uh, watertight, so this windshield may turn into a rain shield, and uh, I gotta be up early. The high tide comes at 9.30 in the morning, approximately, uh, and the sun's up at quarter to eight, so I gotta be out of here definitely before then, or close to then, because that's when the dog walkers start to come down and investigate what riffraff are uh, camping in there driftwood shelter. I think I'll be okay. Uh, looks like from where I am now the sea level is at my feet and looking over there looks like I should be okay. And if I'm not um, I can run up the hill. I'm not I'm not in trouble. No worries. everything but the kitchen sink today. We're making steamed hams. This seems to really warm the place up. Um, anyway, I've got uh, slices of ham, which I'm going to steam. Uh, a thing of rice that you're supposed to steam in a microwave but I'm sure I can steam it while I'm steaming stuff and speaking of steaming um, green giant uh, simply steam uh, Brussels sprouts so in an unusual meal I'm gonna steam these things um, old family recipe for steamed hams There we go. Easy peasy. Gonna work great. Uh, they're designed to be boiled in water, so I'm sure they can be steamed. Get some hams in there. Hunger down here. Uh, not gonna lie, I've been crying a little um, in between shots. Uh, being honest. Um, things have been tough but there's nothing we can't fix with a little steamed hams that's steam from the steamed hams we're having rice of course mmm rice um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that cooked really well or not you're supposed to microwave that one but uh, I figured steaming it would work out okay <laughs> Anyhow, the uh, of course, <laughs> what goes better with uh, with dry brown rice than uh, some leaky uh, Brussels sprouts? <laughs> the 
those are good. And of course the star of the show being these steamed hams here. My time frame is I gotta be out of here uh, when the sun comes up, which is 7.45. And right now it's probably about 11 when people stop coming around. So I'm eating late as I always do, we all know that. But I don't get to sleep in. that time uh, bedtime I'm hunkering down on this mattress here surrounded by seaweed things I'll crawl into my sleeping bag and uh, such a strange cool place to be in for the night good morning short and sweet sleep there's people on the trail so I got to get out of here uh, real quick it's not even eight o'clock yet about 745 but time to time to tear things down are mostly uh, mostly cleaned up um, packed up doesn't look too bad now um, I'd hate to be waking up right now there's way too many people out there okay uh, time to do a final sweep of the area and um, get out of here as quick as possible Of course, I am really glad I had the tarp and all this stuff with me because otherwise it would have been very cold last night. But stealth camping like this, really close to a lot of trails and people walking around, dogs, early walkers, that type of thing, less is more. Um, and that goes, uh, that's what I've learned from my limited stealth camping experience is that, you know, if I, if I had just had a sleeping bag on the ground, um, I'd be gone by now instead of having this cascade of uh, people parading past me while I'm trying to pack up. But that's my two cents. I was going to try and squeeze this back in the bag, but there's a time and a place for that type of thing, and it's uh, not right now. We'll fit it in the backpack and then this is a problem for future Steve. There you go. That was the alarm I had set to get out of here before it was full of people. And I was woken up before the alarm went off by a good 15 minutes uh, from all the people walking the trails. So, oh yeah, you, you can never get up too early for these type of things. tide is up um, it reaches its peak about an hour from now and look at that I've got feet to spare a couple on the trail there and I'm sure they're people from last night that are back here again this morning when I was out pretending to be a photographer okay um looks whatever I'm just gonna go <laughs> I've already done it <laughs> that all down the trail um, meters from where I was slept <laughs> okay that doesn't look safe I don't trust anything about this swing um, it's four feet off the ground 
bolts are rusty. Uh, the rope is not UV resistant and the branch is suspect. So I won't be trying this one. And look, the board is splintered right where the eye hook goes through. And that's a cause for concern. My conclusion is there's not much good to find on the beach unless you've got a metal detector and a lot of time. Uh, it's mostly just seaweed and garbage um, and, and a good view. So, uh, wow, a good view over there too. Thanks everybody who's liked, commented, and subscribed on the video. Um, and a special thanks, of course, to those who have gone above and beyond by directly uh, supporting the channel. So thank you all. And I'll be sure to keep these coming. Things sometimes are rough, and things sometimes are good. And uh, for those who know, um, I've suffered a loss, and those who don't, now you do. Um, but. Uh, trying to show people that there is some hope in this um, in grief because I'm not the only one who's dealing with this I know a lot of you other people hope there are of course more every day unfortunately so um, it gets easier but you can't tell which days are gonna be good which are gonna be bad but overall things are improving um, and I don't want you guys to worry about me I needed definitely a break after Christmas, that was a bit tough, but good to be back out doing what I do, hiking where I hike and camping where I camp. Thank you all so much for your continued patience with me and following along, subscribing, and just being such a good community, a good group of people. Um, it's uh, Friends have been made in the comment section, you guys are just a fantastic group of people. So until next time, I get a bid you adieu and hitting the road a few more potential spots and I've I haven't filmed anything in a couple of weeks uh, until now but the uh, the time wasn't wasted a lot of driving thinking and searching for spots so I got a good list and uh, let's all explore that together cheers guys